Okay, so we're now taking a look at how to use some basic extensions. So in Virtuoso, our natural language syntax allows you to automate most things straight out of the box. But as with most things, there's always going to be some sort of edge case and being able to extend our platform through the use of extensions puts the power to do that in your hands. Extensions are JavaScript code um, and you can use that to create an extension to perform a function that you can then call in your tests. And if I go from the left hand side here into the extension section, I've got a few extensions set up here. So for example, we've got one here that will generate a random number using the faker.js library. Um, so it can just, it'll do that. We run that from one of our journeys and it will provide us with a random number. So that's great for doing certain types of testing. There can be times when that's really useful. And you can define these yourself. Um, and there's also lots in our documentation. So if I go over to our documentation, if you search up here for extensions, it'll bring you over to the extensions library. And there are a whole host of extensions in here for things like advanced API calls, get computed style as the generating random data. So as well as doing random numbers, we can get names, addresses, those sort of things. If you want to add any of these to your Virtuoso, you can just click add extension and that will add it in for you to use in your Virtuoso. So as well as all of those um, pre-created ones that you can pull in, you can also create your own. So you can write any JavaScript that you want and get that into your test. So let's do this. Let's make an extension. So I'm going to click new extension over here and let's give our extension name. So let's do one for uh, get date. And I'm going to create that. And what I'm going to want to do is to get a date and return it in the day, day, month, month, year, year format of today. Now, I've got this code already pre-written, so I don't have to go through and do that. This is just standard JavaScript, so you could put this together. But I've got that all prepared, so you don't have to watch me type that out. And I've created that JavaScript ready to go. And if we save that, we can then call that in our um, journeys. You can see it's finding today's date. It's pulling out the day the month and the year out of that and then it's returning it's combining that together and returning that as a value we can use so i've written that code out now the problem with that is that you do need to um, know understand and be competent in javascript now virtuoso does have a way to do that where you don't need to write the javascript it's not foolproof but we do have an ai assistant to help you generate extensions so if i create a new extension let's try and create the same sort of extension for getting a date but let's get the ai to write that rather than us having to write it so i'm going to click new extension and this time i'm going to call this one auto date okay and i'm going to click the little bot over here and this is our ai assistant all we do is we tell it what we'd like it to do so i want to get today's date in the format day day month month year 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 I'm going to set that off to think about that and it's going to generate that code for us. Now we might need to tweak that a little bit, but I'm hoping it's going to give us some code that we can just put straight in to our extension. And there we go. You see, actually, it looks pretty similar in what we've got there. It's done it in a slightly different way. Um, I don't need it as a separate function, so I'm just going to take out the code from the middle there, drop that in here and let's just format that nicely. And it is different. Let's save it. So let's see, we can see the code we've got here. We can see the code we wrote. Let's see if they give us the same answer when we put those into a journey. So I'm going to go, uh, let's make a new goal uh, for extensions. Now, it doesn't really matter what URL I give this one here because we're not actually going to do any testing on it, but we need something to start our journey. So there we go. We've got that. Let's add a checkpoint for extensions. What we want to do now is execute our extensions. So to execute an extension, what we do is simply type the name of the extension in here. And you can see as I've started typing that, it's popped up. And because that extension is returning a value, we also need to tell it to return. And because it's a variable, we had a dollar sign in front of it. So I'm going to return that to a variable called manual results. And if we save that, and let's also run our um, AI generated one as well. 
called auto date and let's say there we are returning auto and if we save that one as well we run that and there we go we can see that those two have now run successfully and if we go in there look at the side effects you can see it's returned us our date and if we go into our auto one and into our side effects you can see it returns our date now it's not quite formatted as nicely but both of our extensions have given us what we need now i could go in to um, edit this extension and edit that code if i wanted to add in the um now what i could do is i could go in and click edit and we could edit our code to add in the little bits that we need to get that formatted nicely so we can edit that extension to do what we need to do if we save that if we rerun that let's have a look see if we've managed to change how that's done so let's run that again and let's see if our auto date then if we've managed to change that code there we go that's run again now and in our side effects there you go we formatted that nicely so our ai generated code wasn't perfect but it saved us all the work of having to work that out so you now can see they've got the capability to basically extend virtuoso to do almost anything that you can do to interact with and you'll find on that extensions library there are some really complex examples to give you an idea of the sort of things that you can do all of that is reusable you can put that into other journeys other projects and really expands what we can do in virtuoso